This is a tutorial for getting models from Curvy 3D into InWorlds or the Second Life engine. Um, I'm starting off by drawing a lathe teapot. So I've select a lathe from the tools menu and I've drawn a curve the shape of the side of a key teapot. Now I'm going to draw the spout. Again drawing a curve along one side of where I think that object should be. Um, if the curve's a bit wobbly, you can right click on the curve and then press S or Shift S to smooth, smooth it quickly. The, the spout I'm going to make out of two curves so I can have different shapes for the front side and the back side. Again, smoothing it by right clicking on the curve and pressing S. The handle, I'll start off drawing the same way, drawing a curve along the back side then another curve along the front side. This produces a slightly strange shape um, which pinches quite thinly in places. Uh, so I'm going to add a new curve for the sort of side of the handle to force it to fill out sideways. And to do that, I'm going to copy one of the original curves using Curve Clone. And then I'm going to use the Move tool to pull it out sideways. And finally, pressing M on the keyboard makes the, the handle symmetrical. So that side curve uh, affects both sides of the object. Just going to increase the resolution of the body of the teapot because it was looking a bit jaggy. There's a res resolution slider under Object Properties. And now to export. Just pick a name. And it'll save out all of those objects as texture maps ready to import into InWorlds or Second Life. So now we're in InWorlds. Um, and we're going to bulk upload those images. We've got three objects, which produces three images to upload. They'll appear just as colourful squares. Um, they only really make sense when you turn them into the, the sculpty objects themselves. To create them, you right click and choose the Create option. Um, and you start off just with cubes, regular cubes, and we'll turn them into sculpties later there's no option to directly create a Sculpty. In the object menu you pick the building block type to be sculpted and then there's a texture window underneath there in which you drag your imported Sculpty textures. You can see the models already taking shape. Um, when they're small on the screen like this they are drawn with very few polygons so they won't look very crisp or sharp. So I'll make them bigger so you can see them in more detail, what we've got imported. So as you see when it gets bigger the, the detail will pop in as it gets larger. There we go, it's popped in. Now we've got nice crisp edges around the lid. And the handle. Just scale up the spout. So in just a few minutes we've got a, a new object in the world, ready to play with, build with. Um, there you go my in-world teapot.